Holy Chronopolis. That's my drink. There's a dinosaur in there. Good morning from another beautiful day in Madrid, Spain. Today is gonna be all about the food. Ashley found a secret cookie spot on TikTok that we're gonna go check out. Then we're gonna get the oldest churro in all of Spain. And then tonight we're following up with the craziest restaurant. It's got big drinks, big food. We have big hair, so let's go enjoy. <laughs> first things first, we're about to get the most secret and exclusive cookie in all of Madrid. Oh, these cookies. I gotta get the rest from Les. Put that cookie down. No! This is something rare. The Mouse Fives are starting breakfast with a bunch of cookies. You know I'm a basic bee and I love doing the normal touristy stuff, but I also love finding unique things to do on our travels. I literally went into TikTok and I put unique things to do in Madrid, and apparently there's this secret cookie spot. It's not at a bakery. It's gonna be awesome, and it's one of the best cookies that you will have in all of Spain. So you're probably asking yourself, what makes this bakery so unique? What's so special about these cookies? Well, these cookies are gonna be found at a monastery, and they're all prepared by the nuns here. The the interesting thing about it is we can't talk to them or see them. It's all concealed and uh, it's a vow of silence, I believe. I've never had holy cookies before in my life, but we traveled all the way here to Madrid, Spain, so we have to try them. Another crazy thing about this that's giving me anxiety right now is there's no Yelp thing for it. There's no hours. We're gonna walk up and if there's a sign there that says cookies are available, we're gonna get them. And then if not, there's gonna be a sign that be like, peace, this is the next time we have cookies. So pray for us that we can actually get these cookies, but there's no website or anything. You just go and lead with faith. <laughs> that you can get cookies. <laughs> I have faith that we're gonna eat the best cookies it's ever. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Honest moment right now, Nick was like, let's not film our fail. And I'm like, we're only human and this happens to everybody when they travel. It's actually closed until the 18th of January. So the nuns are on holiday. And there it is, the moonlight oh, 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 oh. I don't know if they're allowed to be with their family, probably not, but they're not baking us cookies. But just know, throughout the year, you can actually come here, but you're gonna take a gamble because sometimes it might not be open. Shout out to all the nuns that make these magical cookies. They must be working their buns off if they got a whole month off to not make cookies. <laughs> Like, I can understand having a month off of not being a nun, but to not make cookies. During the holidays, did they make so many that they can just chill for a little bit? That's how you know these cookies are good, you guys. Because they were like slaving away making them, and they were like, you know, we need a whole month off. No more cookies to be had. But if you guys come to Spain on your travels and end up trying these cookies, comment below and let us know if they're delicious because we won't be able to try them until our next holiday. So one of the best things about being in Madrid or all of Spain is that you're able to rebound super quickly. We're right in the heart of everything in this area. So there's actually the oldest churro spot in all of Spain that's been around since 1894, just right around the corner. Everyone says it's like a rite of passage and that you have to do it. We're gonna put these churros to the test. I'm sorry, cancel me all the Disney people watching these are gonna be better than any Disney parks trail. They're not coming out of the freezer. It's all organic ingredients. It's not crap in it. It's gonna be great chocolate. I love Disneyland churros, but never, never compare. I already know it's gonna be better. What about the ones in Tomorrowland though, right? That was a quick five minute walk and we're on the outskirts of Puerta del Sol at the Chocolateria San Guinness. And it's directly across the street from Plaza Mayor. It's just right over there. One of the most special parts about this Chocolateria, not only is it over 130 years old, but all the local performers and theater, what are they called, thespians? That is correct. Thespians. Thespians would come here after they did a full day of performing and unwind with some chocolate and churros and coffee with their friends. Quick question, does it say on Wikipedia if they would gather after the executions that also took place over there and unwind with a nice churro? Or is it just for the thespians? I mean, if I learned anything from Game of Thrones, after they killed someone, they were totally down for some sweets, so probably. <laughs> <laughs> They were definitely killing it. This place has been here for 130 years. We're gonna go put it to the test right now and see what the mouse vibes think. I'm so excited for some sweets, churros for breakfast. It's gonna be awesome. We got the six churros and one cup of milk chocolate. I don't know how to say that in Spanish. I was butchering it, but the lady was so nice. This looks so good. It smells so chocolatey in here. It's amazing. It's a little taste of Willy Wonka. Just show us, move that around a little bit. Do like a drip. Oh yeah. Boom. All right, get in there, show us how it's done.
That is so good. I love that there's no like flavoring on the churro. It's just the dough. It's so delicious. This chocolate is amazing. And it's not too sweet. I got chocolate back home. I'm a dark chocolate girl because milk chocolate's way too sweet. This isn't too sweet. It is perfect. Oh my god. Disneyland are here. I told you, duh. The perfect churro does exist, and it's here in Madrid. I can eat a thousand of these things. Me too. I understand why it's been here for 130 years, but man, this chocolate, I might just drink it. It's so good. I'm just gonna drink it. I'm not leaving any money or chocolate on the table. Dude. Mm, I've never in my life tasted chocolate so good, like ever. Like, oh my god, I wish you guys can taste this in the screen. Like, I'm drinking a cup of chocolate, okay? That escalated quickly. Mm. Going for churros, I end up drinking chocolate. This place is worth the hype. If you come to Madrid and you don't come here, you're fucking up. Like, that was amazing. That place was totally worth the hype and the wait. That was probably the best show I'm ever gonna have in my life. And there's a couple things that we've learned eating in Spain. One, they take their churros really serious. And two, the best restaurants are down a long, skinny alleyway that may look like you're gonna get mugged, but you're gonna have the best meal ever. That is the truth. This is like tucked away and like kind of hard to find, but once you see it, you see it. But you guys, I got the coolest gift for Roxanne. My mom. Every year growing up, my mom would make Dutch hot chocolate for my brother and I. And this year, she's gonna make Spanish hot chocolate. I got her authentic chocolate from San Guinness Chocolateria. Honestly, I didn't really know what I was getting. I just saw the bag and I was like, my mom would love that. So I hope she likes it. And she's gonna make us some Spanish hot chocolate for the holidays. That's literally the gift that keeps on giving because we know we're going to consume like 85% of that chocolate. So <laughs> shout out to you, Roxanne. Shout out, Mom. Hope you're having fun with Elliot. <laughs> Also last night, during our like escapade of having a thousand sangrias, I bought these Euro shades. And I'm kind of vibing, I'm not sure if they give off like Willy Wonka vibes, but in Euro they call me Nicolas. No, I think they give off like crazy model vibes. You look so handsome. It's so hot right now. You can't wear your Ray-Bans like forever. Like you have to have some like European model vibes, you know? These are mixed with like Willy Wonka, but also like the old man like blue blockers that block off on the sides. I like it, it's fashion baby. Head of it. <laughs> Head of it. I'm gonna take some fashion shots of Nick right now in this beautiful little courtyard, but I think I love them. I think they're good. It is such a beautiful day today here in Madrid. The sun is out. It's even a little bit warm. It feels kind of like a Los Angeles day. It's perfect. And we ran into this place, Pisco Labis. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's a tapas bar. And we have about five hours till dinner, so we're pretty hungry. And we wanted to sit right here in the thick of it all with the sun beating on us, because it's just this is my favorite thing about Spain. You just eat a little bit everywhere you go and you don't feel guilty about it. We're walking it off. We're gonna have a sangria, maybe a couple cervezas here, and stumble upon whatever life brings us today. I love your glasses. They look so good. I need them for right now, ultimate protection. <laughs> all right, ask and you shall receive. Ashley's just been ordering all our food on the strip. I have no idea what I'm ordering, which is the best food ever. I love Nick. I'm like, can I just order Nick's like sure and he always ends up liking it. This looks divine. Like this looks so good. Which one are you gonna start with first? Um, I think I'm gonna start with the croqueta. It's a mixture of uh, ham and cheese. You're speechless, baby. It's like caramelized brie with like grilled onions on top and some like maple fig jam or something. I don't want to get. I think this is the mm. I mean, this is the I don't think. I don't think for us. Mm. 
I think you need to try that right now. I I am. Too big of a bite. It's the. Whatever that thing is. That's what it is. Like, this is the best thing I've had in my trip. <laughs> that right there. It's amazing. Free, fried, caramelized, green jacket, gold jacket. <laughs> also, <laughs> Ashley's. Oh. <laughs> You've had that bread everywhere you've been. Mm, I'm putting this on WAP. Spain has the best cuisine I've ever had in my life. Granted, I haven't been everywhere in the world, but I've visited quite a few places, and I can say with confidence, so far Spain is the best food. Like, back home, I'm not really a foodie. When we travel, I am. I've never eaten so good in my life than in Spain. Ever. I agree with that. It's like, dude, this, what the fuck? Oh, so good! And this bread with tomato paste we've had all over Spain. I know it seems like such a simple idea, but the way they do it, it feels so fresh and just awesome. <laughs> what, what was that? Ibirico di Belota. I don't know what that's. I don't know, but I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Looks like a bunch of raw meat. I love tapas. It's like tomato, fresh tomato like spread with like prosciutto and butter. Is this for me? Mm -hmm. Is this for me? <laughs> She's sharing, guys. You see it. You're doing it, Ashley. Oh my God. <laughs> what is this? With the raw meat, I don't know. There's like a sauce in there. So it's that tomato sauce. This is really good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. If I had some pasta with this, it'd be perfection. Yeah. <laughs> but it's tapas, so you have a little bit from every place. Is it really a little bit? <laughs> tapas around Spain are beyond ridiculous, and they all kind of serve the same thing, except each restaurant has a specialty item, and that had to be the brie thing that we had there. I've never seen that on any other menus. Chef's kiss, I want to marry that brie. And yeah, some of them specialize in uh, seafood, others specialize in pork, others specialize in meat. You'll generally find the same thing, but each one has its own like special thing. So we've done a lot of the seafood ones this trip just because I love seafood, Nick loves seafood. We all do. But there's so many different ones you can get around the city. So we're not gonna say like, go to this place, go to this place. Try them all because they're all good. Every place we've eaten on this trip has been good. There hasn't been a miss. Zero misses, sir. Ladies, get you a man that carries all your stuff and don't settle for less. I'm basically Ashley's handler. This is all of her goods. <laughs> Here you go, miss. Oh, thank you. Thank you, babe. Euro Ashley is complete. I'm like very into earth tones right now. So as you can see, this whole trip, it's been like, earthy. And say like that. Cause he's a fashion king. Fashion, look to the left. Fashion, look to the right. Bow, 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 bow. My name is Nick right now, right? I'm super chill. But when I get my sunglasses out. You're not super chill, but I love you so much. I'm pretty chill. You wish you were we chill. We had a mode online. Stuff that makes Madrid so special. Like I don't want to compare it back home. Yes, we have street performers and musicians, but we just had a three-piece orchestra playing. <laughs> <laughs> the best music ever. It brought everyone to tears. I've never seen so much money being donated all at once for music. That was talent. They're playing Hallelujah right now. Um, what does this was, remind you of? OC. Three, two, one. The OC. Oh, that was so beautiful. Like. And I can tell, they didn't need to be here. Like those people are established people. They were just here playing beautiful music for tourists and people in love walking by. And like, that was so beautiful. Like, oh, so beautiful. <laughs> so talented, so cool. Oh, 
I love Europe. <laughs> I love it so much, especially Spain. I just want to put some respect on Ashley. It doesn't matter wherever she goes, she's world famous for taking photos of everyone. Strangers always come up to her and ask for the best photos, and she's right now doing a photo shoot that's going to be amazing. All her photos are good, but I just love that she spreads joy to everyone with photos. I wonder if people, like, when they go back home to their home country and they're like, who took this photo? They're like, oh, it was this girl with huge eyelashes and makeup. She was the best. That's how I imagine it, but. Also love this man's debonair pose, looking off to the side like he's contemplating a new math equation or maybe a breakthrough with Elon Musk. Either or, oh, solidified that. There she is, world-class photographer. I just know what the people want. Yeah. I, he, like, he like gave me a lot of direction and then I thought they were kind of crappy and he's like, no, these are amazing. And then I just helped him with his hand placement a bit. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Uh, it'd be good just to hold him down by okay. your side. Yeah, great. You did great. He was definitely, I can predict he was a single man wanting to stunt with his fashion and his new haircut and he's here in front of the Air Maze building. Yes! He was like, I'm gonna post this and all the bees are gonna love me. Honestly, if you see that Tinder photo later, Ashley deserves 25% of that <laughs> ass that he gets. <laughs> Five minute walk from Plaza del Sol and we're at Implant Brutal Bar. We're waiting for our reservation. I booked this mainly off of social media again. It's known for huge drinks, over the top cups, great service and very unique style tapas and cocktails. And it kind of is like Barton G um, in Beverly Hills if you guys have ever been there. It's just big and over the top and in your face. I cannot wait. They had a drink there from the master Jim Carrey, which I need that. <laughs> Yeah, and it's a pretty hot reservation to get. They emailed me about 50 times being like, are you sure that you want to come here? You do have to put a credit card down. If you don't make your reservation, you actually get ding $10 per person. So I just want to give you a heads up. Oh, that's a good fact. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> and now you know. You know the drill. It's down another skinny, <laughs> sketchy alleyway. But this is one of the restaurants I was super stoked to check out. Ashley showed this to me on Instagram and TikTok. I was like, we need to go. I need one of those drinks in my life. I love everything big. I love everything over the top. So this is perfect for the mouse vibes. Yeah, it's pretty kitschy. It's pretty touristy, I'm assuming, just because it's like so big and in your face. But let's put it to the test and see if it's worth the hype. I feel like it's really gonna be. I'm like really pumped for these drinks. Holy. Chronopolis. That's my drink. There's a dinosaur in there. These might be the most outrageous drinks we've ever ordered. Like, it's a dinosaur. He can, he's hatching. He's gonna come out and then actually got a full blown Barbie. How fitting. I know, that's cool. All of the drinks here are served in over the top glasses, and I, of course, had to get the Barbie. This had rum, shrub red fruits, cordial, lime citrus mix, sugar, and was described to me as a fruity light refreshing cocktail. Looking good, Barbie. Thank you. I got it because. A lot of the drinks seemed really sugary. So this one said fruity, light, and refreshing, and that's exactly what it is. I don't know what type of liqueur is in it, but it's like minty and floral. It tastes really good. I mean, I'm a bit too short to drink this. <laughs> this is heavy. Holy Chronopolis. That's my drink. There's a dinosaur in there. I ordered Nick this giant dinosaur egg, and this drink is called Send Eggs. It's a gin-based drink with some floral and spice in it. Refreshing. It tastes like vacation. And there's a dinosaur. This is so cool. Look how happy this is. The most ridiculous thing about this dinner is every time I want to quench my thirst after this. <laughs> also, we just ordered a bunch of food that's served in ridiculous things as well. I don't know how we're gonna have enough room at the table. It's not just the drinks that are over the top, all the dishes are over the top as well. We got the Somme Dragon and it literally comes in the back of a dragon. This is three units of some sort of pork, candied teriyaki bacon, chipotle cream, pickled cucumber, and crispy crust with sweet paprika. I mean, look at this stuff. I know you were just talking trash to me that I ordered lettuce wrap tacos, but this is amazing. This beef is so tender and there's like this like chipotle crema, it's so good. Oh my god, you have to try this, babe. After's right, this is really good. <laughs> this is how I film myself because she's eating. Mmm. 
one of my goals for 2024, which was also one of my goals for 2023, was to be a better vlogger and take social cues and tech cues from Nick. I, every time we do a food video, I just stuff my face and I forget that we're making a video, so I'm really sorry. I am who I am. I'm trying. You're the dragon. You have to finish that. It's so bomb. I will finish it. <laughs> We ordered the octopus with potato parmi and tear, and it was literally served to us in an octopus. This is grilled octopus with silky potato cream and extra virgin olive oil, and it was like we were eating Ursula. It was delicious. I could be so wrong, but I think when you mix octopus and potatoes, it's called bolpo, and I think that's what we had in the San Miguel market. If someone from Spain is mad at me that I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but that was a guess. Okay. Wow. The grilled octopus, the potatoes are so buttery. The paprika on it. Oh my God, look at that. I get all four of these tentacles? Yes. Gotta get some potatoes, babe, yeah. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm going out on a limb here. This may be dangerous. It's actually not fishy at all. It's super good. Anything with mashed potatoes is like slapped on it. Bye bye to the microphone. Should I slurp up this tentacle? Watch this. Yes. <laughs> and the last dish that we got is the Mela's duck and truffle rice. This is creamy duck rice with seasonal truffle and finished with the Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. I don't know if this is weird, but we're literally eating duck out of a duck and out of a duck's booty, actually. So <laughs> it was so weird, we kept joking about it. I'm not a big truffle person, but Nick loves it. So this is duck and truffle rice. It's very rare where like a kitschy over the top spot delivers food wise. It's usually yes. like, it's either really badass looking and the food sucks vice versa. In this case, it's both. Everything we've ordered has been great. Oh my God. You're gonna love this. Oh my gosh. You get I know. slapped in the face with it right away. You can put truffle on anything, street trash, any whatever, and I would eat it. It's on duck. I'll be the best thing ever. a great texture. This is really rich and decadent. Really nice. The two drinks that seemed to be the most popular were the Mask and Joker by Apple Thief. These were the ones that were all over TikTok and Instagram, so of course we had to get them. I couldn't really tell you what is in these. Nick and I just purposely chose the ones that were the most light and refreshing. I know this has watermelon liqueur, gin, tanqueray, and lychee syrup. Lychee? Leaky? Whatever. Whatever. And... I don't know. <laughs> That's just a rum based drink. It is rum punch. <laughs> They're both fine. They're both good. And I'm like drinking out of their. Have you ever drank out of two guys' heads? <laughs> Ooh, this is like a melon type of drink. This is super good. This guy would definitely not break the law. <laughs> mm. I like it a lot. Uh, copy? I'm okay, thank no? you so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Strikes again. Ashley strikes again. Oh, 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 because I struck again, bitch. <laughs> Everywhere we go, Ashley picks the best restaurants and just added to the list again. <laughs> Even though that thing was eccentric, had over the top drinks, over the top food, over the top decorations. It was a vibe. That was amazing. That was one of the best meals I've ever had. The drinks were super good. The food was really nice and decadent. They took a lot of care in there and they gave us a two hour window and they're like, it's two hours, get the hell out of here. Who needs your beat it? Leave me alone. Yeah, I know that every single thing we've eaten on this trip, we're like, this is the best meal we've ever had. But like, we're not blowing smoke up your butt. Like we mean it. Like every single meal has been so good. I can't believe that was a hundred euros, less than a hundred bucks for two people with the amount of food and drinks that we got. And it was just like such a good experience. And you can fall into the touristy traps and like overpriced food. And like, it was such a good experience. The vibe was great. The service was great. I love that the ceiling was roses. The bathroom was decorated well. Like all of it was just like popping. I feel like that restaurant might be owned by like Lisa Vanderpump's Spanish cousin. It felt like that, right? It was like a super big vibe. Uh, everyone in there was like a childless millennial spending a ton of money getting a ton of drinks. 
That was amazing. That was so good. Truffle duck? Yes, please. Out of his booty. I also love that there was a lot of older couples that were there and being like, oh my God, what is this? And like taking every single photo in there. It was like literally so cute. I loved it. I've never seen so many Blackberry photos in my life. <laughs> Wait, is Blackberry still a phone? We said old people, I don't know. <laughs>